Okay. Hello everyone, Argon Matrix here, welcoming you to episode 73 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Oh yeah. Last time we failed miserably at the hide and seek stage. So instead of doing that again, I'm just going to go ahead and move on to the next level. Because I don't want to bore you with that too much. Because you know, I know that those hide and seek stages can get really boring. They can get really abhorring. Uh, I swear I've heard that word somewhere before, abhorring. I don't... It's like A-B-H-O-R-I-N-G. I don't th I don't even know if that's actually a word or not. But I, I swear I've heard somewhere before. Something close to it at the very least. Anyways. Yeah, so this is what? Sweets Park is what it said? Oh, yeah. To me, this is one of the most iconic levels in the whole game. It just sticks out in my m mind just so well. I have no idea why. I don't know. It's just... It seems to just fit the Kirby atmosphere perfectly, or at least the Kirby atmosphere that they have in this game. It just seems that it's kind of different for every game. You know how, like, the atmosphere for this is not the same as the atmosphere for Kirby 64. Uh, that's true for pretty much any game, I guess, though. Especially with Super Mario Galaxy. Because there is no atmosphere in, the out in outer space. It was really, really bad. Oh my god. Anyways... Yeah, or maybe I just really like this level because of all the food. Like, look at these delicious sponge cakes. Sponge cakes of goodness. Man. Every time I, like, come to this level, I, like, see these sponge cakes, and I just... Oh my god, I would just love to eat a sponge cake. Even if I've just, like, eaten, like, something, like, really filling and I'm not hungry at all, I would, I would just come here and it would just be like, oh my god, I want one of those now. Alright, to get this, you're gonna have to be a little bit patient here. It, well, you don't have to be, you can take a risk if you want. No risk, no reward, I suppose. Dude, get down here. Thank you. Get all these little grape beads here. Yeah. Oh, crap! Oh my god. Almost got crushed right between two sponge cakes there. Wouldn't that just be the most pitiful way to die ever, to get crushed between sponge cakes? Just like, oh my god. Like, maybe if you eat too many sponge cakes and you have a heart attack or something. I don't know. Oh, yeah, this part of the level can actually be really annoying. It kind of reminds me of that, um, of Fortress Number 4 in Super New Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know, the one with, like, Wendy and how, like, the blocks all come and they're, like, on the conveyor belt. And the blocks fall! And then you have to time your jumps rather well in order to avoid getting crushed to death. Crush. Sounds like I stuttered there for a second. All right. Oh crap. All right. I see a star up there though, and I kind of want that. I kind of, kind of do. Oh yeah, silver medal. Collect all the silver coins and win. Yeah, you knew I was gonna get that reference in this LP eventually. My goal is to get that reference in every single LP I do. I don't know. It's starting to become a rather used meme. But whatever. Alright, can you stand on these clouds? I don't know if I got high enough that time. Because I know there's like those clouds and like grassland that you can stand on. But I don't know about these ones. Oh, there's something up there though. How do you get up there then if you can't stand on the clouds? Okay, I need to, I need to figure that out. Can I just like... Okay, I can just do that. That's fine. And there's a patch over here too. I would expect nothing less. Nothing less by this point. Oh my god. These things look so delicious, these donut-looking things. I don't know. For some reason, I like donuts that are partially glazed like this more than I like donuts that are, like, fully glazed. I don't know why, it's just something about, like, the contrast of the different tastes. Like, there's, like, the moist, sprinkly, chocolatey part, and then you have, like, the dry and somewhat boring... Oh, I'm gonna get crushed there if I go. And somewhat boring, like, doughy part. But the doughy part is just, like, I don't know, the texture of it. It's just so nice in your mouth. It's just like a flavor explosion. And the size of these things. It reminds me of Texas Donut Day that we had in my school. It was in middle school. And every Friday we would get Texas Donuts for free. Oh, that was so nice. Yeah, but then the, t the Texas Donut Company in Calgary went out of business, so... Oh, that tradition had to sadly end. It looks like a pink donut. It's weird. I don't know, I don't really like pink icing very much at all. Alright, Waldy, rise up! However you do that, I don't know how you rise carrying an umbrella like that. Not even Mary Poppins can do that. Well, she probably could, I don't know. 
Right. Oh, look at that. There's a little smiley face inside of the donut. It's a happy donut. It's a happy donut fryer. Oh, must not be one from Pick and Save, then. Yeah. Alright. Oh, there I saw something up here. And if this is what I think it is, then I probably want to go up here first, actually. Just get this out of the way. Yeah, this is what I think it is, isn't it? Isn't it? Well, first, actually, I want to think... I want to think? No. Well, I do want to think. That's how you're going to get through this game. But I want to... Can I, like, do anything here? Uh, well, I can't get up there very well. Oh, well, my cat just woke up from her nap. Oh, well, hopefully she doesn't bother me too much. I can get all that, I guess. Jeez, okay, so how... Because I know there's, like, a treasure up there, but I guess I'm going to have to take this first in order to get there. Because I remember if you do this wrong, then you utterly screw yourself out of getting this treasure, and you have to come back through it, and it's really annoying and stupoid, but... Jeez. I say stupoid too much. It's not even my, like, thing to say stupoid. Alright, don't do that now. Alright, I think you want to, like, gnaw off, like, maybe, like, the top end of each one of these. To kind of make, like, a staircase effect here, maybe. Excuse me. No, don't do- Well, oh, actually, I would have ha had to do that anyways. I think. Yeah, okay, so I think I've made a na rather nifty staircase here on this cake. This cake made of, like, wool. Ew. Yeah, it actually does look kind of delicious, though. Like, if it was, like, a real cake, and it was, like, actually, like, made of icing, I imagine this would be, like, caramel and blueberry or something. Which might go well again. I never really thought of that. As a matter of fact, I can't really think of anything that goes well with blueberry as, like, a second or... Why did I go in here again? I don't know. I can't really think of anything that goes well with blueberry as a second flavor. Can anyone, can anyone think of something like that? I honestly can't. Because there's, like... I don't know, I've never had any food that has, like, blueberry and another flavor. Like, obviously, there's, like, cinnamon and other flavors. Like, cinnamon apple and, like, cinnamon... I've even had cinnamon strawberries, I think. Alright, I'm going to have to go here, and there we go. So yeah, just, do, just do that staircase pattern to get the dr the dessert dresser. This dresser will make you reach for a spoon and your elastic waistband pants. Oh, ha, 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 oh, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Oh, you're too much. Whatever. Oh, it wouldn't make me reach for my like, elastic waistband pants or whatever it said. Because no matter how much I eat, I just can't gain weight. I don't know how. I always just constantly stay at, like, 140 pounds. Which is actually rather light f for, like... Well, for other people in my school, they're at, like, 180 pounds or whatever. So I'm quite light. Right. So avoid the gap. Someone must have taken a bite out of this donut. I bet that was King DDD. Certainly has the gut for it. The gut. Grassland. Grassland music? What? <laughs> um, is that supposed to be there? Why is Grassland music here, of all places? Who knows? Who really knows? Yeah, so how's everyone doing today? Today is July 25th, the day I'm recording this. And I'm in kind of a good mood right now. I don't know, maybe this game just puts me in a good mood. How do I get down there? I must have to, like, fall through the gap in this donut to get there. Dude, I'm up to like nine minutes. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous how long I'm taking on this level. I don't know. But I guess, can you really blame me? Like, seriously? Look at all this delicious stuff that I just have to absorb. Oh my goodness, like these little, like, cookie things. I love cookies like that. We used to have cookies like that. Uh, did I miss a treasure? I think I did. And a patch, too. Oh, crap. I'm gonna have to come back for that then. No! Oh, well. Alright, let's see if we can at least get this. Oh, I get a bone. Oh, come on. Go past that, please. Go past the blank spot. Do it. Do it. Yes! Okay, my. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wasn't it just like in the last episode, too, that we were in that same situation and I wanted to go the other direction, and it did? Wow. Maybe I'm starting to have a little bit of luck or a little bit of skill of that bonus wheel. It's like 80% luck, 20% skill, 15% concentrated power or will. I don't get that song at all. 
Oh wait, there's a new bee collect- That's a It's been a long time since we've seen one of those. Seriously, it's been like months since I've seen one of those, personally. Alright, what's this do? Whoa! Did a, pi a piano just fell on top of the cake? What? Oh my god. Okay. Maybe you could just play Happy Birthday. If it's your birthday out there, then Happy Birthday to you. Try and play Happy Birthday on this piano. Oh, but I can't play the piano. That would have been perfect. Just like a piano and a cake playing Happy Birthday. That would have been so awesome. Alright, um... I wonder if I have time for both the hide-and-seek stage and the, um... And the bee collecting stage. I'm gonna do the hide-and-seek first, because I just want to get that out of the way. want to get that out of the way. I don't know why. Sometimes it pronounced way as whoa. I don't know. It's just one of those weird quirks I have. Or something like that. Jeez, why am I so happy today? I don't know. Maybe it's because it's my favorite weather outside. It's overcast outside right now, and that's my favorite weather, weather of them all. Like, I talked a few videos back about how, like, um, how, like, sunny and kind of windy with, like, clouds. Like, it's not too hot, but it's not too cold or whatever. That's my second favorite kind of weather. But my favorite weather is overcast, totally. I don't know, it's just, like, the gloom of it. I'm, maybe I'm just kind of a gloomy person. I don't know. Yeah, but something about overcast is just so nice. Like, I, like, when it rains, it's just like, oh, well then you can't go outside and really, you can't really do anything outside or whatever. And there's nothing you can, and you're pretty much just stuck inside playing video games all day. Not that I have a problem with that. Alright, there is nothing in here, I remember that. Because I was so pissed off that there was nothing in there in the last video. Yeah, but then, like, when it's, like, super sunny, then you don't want to go outside at all because then it's just, like, extremely hot. You just want to stay inside with your air conditioner the whole day. The whole day. At least I know I do. Maybe Tim wants to stay inside with his fan and his bag of ice or something. That's so ghetto, what he did in that video. Oh, but it was funny. Alright, so, I kind of forget where the other ones are, I'm not gonna lie. I know there's one right there, because I just saw it just now. I just saw it just now, so I noticed it. Don't blame me. Don't blame. What am I talking about? Oh my god. What have I been what have I been talking about this whole video? What have I been talking about all my life? You know, life my at least my life is just a series of just random com conversations that I just come up with off the top of my head. I don't know, somehow just segues from one thing to the next to the next to the next to the next to the next. And then eventually you're talking about squids and you don't know how. Squids or bloopers or bloobers, as they say in Super Mario RPG. I still can't believe that. I still, to this day, cannot believe that that they named the bloopers bloobers in that game. Just like why? <laughs> Just why? It's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god! I even laughed at that while I was like editing that Mario RPG psychopath thing. Oh, <laughs> well, that's great timing, Zeke. Thanks for that. Yeah, speaking of that Mario RPG psychopath thing, uh, I actually do have like a favorite quote from that. I think someone asked me about that, or like someone talked about that, like, oh, my favorite quote is, um, like, is there any reaping to be done, which was by the Greeper in the Sunken Ship. My favorite quote is actually from the Eurid Eurydovich, uh, can't talk today, the Eurydovich clone. He says, I'm not the real McCoy, <laughs> and I don't know why. But every time I hear that, I, can, I just can't help but laugh. I, do, I know it's like a pop culture reference, but I'm still not sure what it's referencing. If anyone can tell me, that would be nice. Or a Sweets Park. Oh, I'm probably going to focus here, but I'll finish my thought. And it's just like, oh my god, I just don't know why. It's just so funny. Like, even when I was just like reading up on the quotes, before, like doing research before whatever. Oh my god, this stage. I remember this one deeply. I spent... I'm not kidding, I spent an hour in this stage trying to get this freaking bead thing done. Alright. I don't, I don't know if that was the smartest decision. But it's done now, so. Alright, yeah, cause... Wait, how do I get down there? Oh, I have to use the zipper, duh. Alright, I have 20 seconds left, let's do this. Cause you have to get 250 beads, which means you have to, like, get, like, every bead from all of them, and they, like, to disappear a lot. Oh, what? 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 You don't drop beads when I throw you into the wall. Why don't you drop beads when I throw you into the wall? Did the beads just get embedded in the wall? Make like a studded wall? That's stupid. 
Yeah. So we might be here for a little while longer. Oh, this is going to be have to be a long video. I'm going to have to speed this up or something. But I don't want to do two speed ups, speed ups in a row. Because that's just... Especially when like I have no time limit. So it's like speeding up is practically useless nowadays. But it's still funny when it happens. You just don't want to have, ha have to do it too much. Alright, so what you got to do with these guys, I think I remember now, is you got to kind of sneak attack them from behind. You know, incoming enemy from my rear, or from the rear. Do no, no, no! Okay. See, that's the problem, is that if they spot you, then they're going to run into the wall, and then you can't do anything about it. And they each give you 100 beads, as you can see. I got 100 beads from that first guy. So you need to get all three of them in order to win this. So if you just miss one, then you're fucked. And this guy's extremely hard to get, because... Uh, because you have to get, like, over top of him and pound him like that. Maybe there's another way to kill him and still get the beads, I don't know. If there is a way to do that, then someone let me know, please. Oh, no! We're gonna have time and patience here. Come on. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it, please? Oh, crap! No! Don't run into the wall, you jackass! You freaking jackass! Oh, my God! <laughs> I was so close that time. Alright, so smash this guy. Smash his face with it. okay. I've referenced NCS way too much in my videos. That one, oh my god, that one fat money bag. The free these freaking fat money bags. They suck. They suck. Oh my god, <laughs> I just can't do it, man. Oh crap, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna make it in time, dude. I didn't even get the zipper all the way undone. <laughs> what? Now it just looks like a frog smiling. Not sure what- oh, Dude! 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 What? 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 You just landed on his head! <laughs> he just ran away so fast, but he like ran so far- Oh my god. That was the most hilarious thing I've ever seen in this game. Smash him! Dude! 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 No! I stood on his head! I was standing on his head! I had the chance. I have the balls. I am Dave Yognon. Shit! I think I have it, guys. No, no! You don't get away from- You don't get away from- Oh, He got away from me. He got away. No, no, no! Get him! Dude! Son of a bitch! Oh my god. I, I hate it when I get angry like this in my LPs. It's just not good. Get him! You ah! Oh. 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 I should have had him by the butt fibers there. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come on. You have it this time. You have it. You have it, Matrix. You have it. No! Those butt fibers again, man. Those butt fibers. Okay. I need to stop yelling, man. I'm going to take a drink of my Coke, actually. These guys have stupid mouths, too. Alright, come on. Oh, my. Dude, Kirby, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kirby? <sighs> Kill him! <sighs> What's the point, man? What's the point? Maybe there's just something really obvious that I'm missing. I have a feeling that's what it is. Because it doesn't seem like they would actually make shit. You get you're getting back here. I'm going to smash you. In a what? Oh, I got caught on the platform up here, damn it. At this point, I practically just want to make them all run just to see their stupid running animation because they're so fat. Because they're so they're so rich and fat that they run really stupidly. I don't know what their richness has to do with them, like, running stupidly, but I'm sure it has something to do with it. All right. See, I got the guy by the butt fibers again there. I don't know what it is. I can get that guy by the butt fibers, but not this guy. Maybe I can. Maybe I just need to strike sooner. No! 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 Wait! I did it! I did it! Yeah! -ha! Yeah, buddy! 258 beads, boy! <laughs> Why did I just go like all western there all of a sudden? <laughs> Oh my god, I did it. Thanks a lot, Kirby. That was really fun. Oh, was it? Was it fun watching me make an ass on myself that whole time? Okay, what do we get for all that? Uh, 
Ew, that's one gross looking fabric, but the ice cream fabric. I should expect nothing less. Oh my god. I don't know how I managed to stomp that guy. He was like a millisecond away from disappearing. I thought he had disappeared. I really thought he had just run into the wall and disappeared like every other time. Do I have anything for here? I don't think I've gotten any of the other treasures that I need to. No, I haven't gotten that ice cream sundae that yet, and that's all I really need. Oh my god, I need to take a drink. Huh? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure we're out of time now, seeing as the recording is up to, oh, about 40 minutes. <laughs> Seriously. But thank you everyone for watching, and until next time, this is Argon Matrix. Gone crazy. Thank you, and good night.